Hello, Super Silly fans. Welcome back. Check this out, baby. Check out all these Halo figures. Uh, honestly, I've never played Halo. I don't even own an Xbox. Um, but I found these at Walgreens. Uh, I think they were originally, what, $20 or something like that? Or some places sold them for $15 or $13.99. But from what I remember, they were $20. Bucks. They went down to $13.99. And um, I guess since McFarlane lost or gave up the, the rights to Halo. And um, I, I can't remember if it was Hasbro or Mattel that got the new license for him. But um, like I said, I don't play Halo. I know Master Chief. That's about all I know. But I just thought this was an awesome, awesome deal. Because at Walgreens, your local Walgreens right now, a lot of them have them for $3. $3 a piece. That means I just got one, two, three, four, five, six Halo figures for 18 bucks for the cost of one. Right? Six times three is 18. Yeah, last time I checked it was. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and open these up. Um, I've seen some reviews on them and some are hit or miss, you know, some people like them, some people don't. I'm not planning on playing with them or anything. I just want to use them for display. But from what I can see, I mean, these things are pretty sweet. I mean, for three bucks, I mean, come on, man. Um, I got Spartan Tanaka, Spartan Hermes, Commander Palmer, uh, Spartan Kelly. And I do have uh, the Master Chief one, I heard, which was my original one that I purchased for $3, which I went ahead and opened. And um, I do, the one I thought was that I was going to miss out on was a Halo uh, Master she Chief with the cloak. Because that guy had sold out and everything. And I went to Walgreens the other day and they had a whole bunch of those available. Now, I still look for them at the Walgreens, hoping they get some old stock and that you know from the warehouse and they put them out but uh, lately I have not seen anything new so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll go ahead and open these up uh, give a quick review not a detail review because these things don't really exist anymore so it's not like you can guys can go and buy them out anymore but I just thought I'd share this because three dollars guys three freaking dollars um, and for three dollars hell yeah I want to get these open uh, display them out and uh, have fun with them. So um, let me get this started for you guys and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So for the first one, uh, I am going to show you the one I did open already, which was uh, original just the Master Chief by himself. Um, it has some awesome colors. Now, one thing I noticed is I understand. I mean, I know the Master Chief has a green suit, but when I first purchased it, he looked gray. And I thought maybe it was a special edition or something. It was just the lighting uh, while it was inside the package. But, I mean, check this guy out. This guy's pretty cool. Uh, a lot of people complained uh, because you can't. it's harder to stand these guys up because they don't have a whole lot of motion. Um, when you look at their knee, they don't bend all the way. They don't do a 90-degree bend on the knee. Um neither on the ankles pivots actually it's in the middle of his foot that pivots it's not even his whole ankle now you can twist his ankle back and forth but you can't pivot it and when you're looking at the ankle you can go and check that out right there now uh, my fingers are a little red I was eating uh, sunflower seeds with a little chili on it so don't mind the little uh, pink fingers. I tried washing it off, but that thing stains like a booger, man. But anyway, so <coughs> has some really, really cool features on here. It's got uh, all these side guns on here. It has like little clips that you can clip this on as well as this one here. But uh, I like having this one just the way he holds his gun right here because it looks really cool. It looks like he's trying to be a sniper. Um, but that's probably how I'm going to end up posing him somehow, some way like that. But uh, I think I just broke his leg too, so. Oh, it's just his foot that's crooked. Okay. Oh, there we go. I guess the the knee <laughs> rotates sideways too. So make sure you uh, don't make him look like he's he was 
you know, assembled wrong. You know, it just putting the knee in the right direction. So, but let's check out the other ones real quick and um, see what we got. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do them uh, based on the ones I like the most and the ones I didn't like the most, or actually the one I don't like the most. So the first one I didn't really like is this guy right here, which is uh, Spartan Her Hermes. Hermes. Uh, it does have the little um, this little gun here. I don't know. I just think the colors kind of blah, boring. He does have this little thing sticking out, and that's gonna be of course for this gun right here. Whoops, he just dropped one right there. And that's so you can kind of put that one there. And um, same, doesn't have a whole lot of movement. I mean, I don't even think the neck move. Oh, there it goes a little bit. That's as far down as you go. That's looking up, I guess. Um, not a whole lot of movement. It's very hard to pose this guy. This guy's a little bit harder to pose. Um, I mean, geez, you can, you can, I guess you can move sideways like this, but up and down, not a whole lot there. As far as the guns is concerned, I think, what is this? Probably a phaser or something. Like I said, I've never played the game, so don't kill me if I get these things wrong, but it's the phaser, and then here's this big old blaster right here. Um, Jeez, this thing looks deadly here, man. Super deadly. But who knows what this is. Um, I don't even know how they would hold this sucker up. Or how, this guy. Yeah, I don't know. I have to figure it out. Look at, what is this? Is this broken or? Oh yeah, this piece is broken. It's gonna fall off right now, so. It's not supposed to be bent like that, but I guess I'm gonna have to super glue this one here, because looks like it's gonna Get ready to fall here, so I don't even know how to pose this one. So what I'm gonna do is just stick it on the back and figure out. I guess that's too big that way, but I'll figure out how to how to get it done later. But for now, yeah, this is Spartan Hermes. Um, probably my least figure of all of them, just because of the color uh, aspect of it, and it's kind of plain and dull, so. Uh, let me get to the next one and see which one else goes next. Alright guys, the next one's gonna be uh, Ke uh, Spartan Kelly. And I don't know, maybe it's just the, the little helmet that I don't like about this one. Because he looks kind of deformed. I don't know. He's got this big old bump. It looks like a big old... Uh... What? <laughs> okay. Can I put it back in? Alright, did you see that? Did you guys see that? Um, see, I can't do that to the other link. That's crazy. Look at that. That just comes, that popped. Maybe that's why they're $3. Oh, look at this. Look at his foot's missing. Where'd I leave the foot? His whole right leg is coming apart, guys. Look at that. Let's see if I can pop that back in. Whoop. I'm gonna have to super glue all this back together. I might have to super glue this because it looks like it actually broke off from the corner there. And maybe that's why they're $3 now. Come on, McFarlane. I heard you guys did some pretty good toys here. Um. Same body mold as the other one, just a different paint scheme on it. Uh, it's got the little uh, phaser gun. Uh, he actually comes with, I don't even know, I think I got them all confused already, but he had, he has this gun right here. And I guess you can mix and match weapons, I guess, because um, have weapons all over the place. And then you have this baby right here that he can put on his back. And I think this, I don't even know if this one belongs to him or if it belongs to uh, Commander Palmer. But for now, we'll go ahead and put it here. Just so he doesn't feel alone with only one weapon. But again, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> this is crazy. Never seen that. And it doesn't matter how hard I push, it just pops right out. But anyway, so yeah, this one's kind of cheap, but... I sh this should be my least favorite now, 
since I can't even put the weapon on. But anyways, uh, the next one is uh, Captain Palmer or Commander Palmer. Uh, sorry. And uh, this guy's paint scheme is a little bit better. Uh, he has more of that rustic look to it. Uh, rustic polished metal. And um, yeah, this guy looks a little bit better. Um, parts to be okay on this one here. The movement pretty much on all of them is going to be the same. Uh, they almost take the same body molds on all of them. And they only change out this little section right here. Uh, everything else looks pretty much the same. The heads, that's as far up you go, far down. So you get a little bit of range of motion. It's not crazy. I think I'm a little bit spoiled with the uh, Marvel Legends on how you can pose those guys. But again, at the end of the day, for $3, I mean, come on. This is, to me, just for posing, for you know displaying purposes, I think these are pretty cool. Um, the last one... Uh, which is probably my favorite other than Master Chief of course is uh, Spartan Tanaka and just cuz again this one has that rustic look to it and this guy looks awesome um, he looks kind of like a Robocop style uh, just because of the way his colors are coordinated I love the that silver and whatever that teal blue is uh, along with the charcoal you can see all the the details in the back of the body on this one this guy just looks awesome and I think it's just that metallic silver sheen that it has look at those monster calves but this is probably my favorite uh, of all the regular ones other than Master Chief like I said um, this guy's pretty awesome so let's look at uh, the actual Master Chief with a cloak I'm curious on that one to see if he's going to be the same as the regular Master Chief or if he's going to be um, different just because of the cloak. Now one thing I did notice when I pulled him out, he has this plastic thing underneath his booty. So let's take that little plastic out. And you can see, I mean, he actually has his whole figure underneath here. He's got this big plastic cloak that goes on top. Um, I'm gonna assume I can take it off. Well, he's he's like a turtle. Turtle, 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 turtle. Hey, Alex, if you're watching, this is to you, baby. Turtle, turtle. Ah, I can't take it off. Turtle, turtle. Hey, are you not part? What? How does it go? <laughs> I don't know. You guys remember that Turtle Club movie? Uh, are you not turtle enough to be part of that turtle club? Turtle, turtle. That's kind of what that reminds me of. But anyway, there's a cool uh, figure. Uh, just displaying it like that. Well, not without the head, but displaying it with the head popping out. Uh, he looks awesome. I wonder if this thing comes out. Oh, there it goes. Comes out in parts. Kind of like a dress. Ooh, look at that. Fancy. So he does come off. And this... Master Chief looks a little bit different than the the first one I got and right now I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison um, He does have that green, but this one looks more of a matte green this guy looks a little more robotic uh, On the green part like it has more metallic to it Or oh, more metal color on top of the green on this one here Looks like the same body mold. Now this one does come with, I'm going to assume it's like a little jet pack or something that mounts onto here. To give it the little backpack look to it. This guy comes with a different hand as well. I'm not sure which hand pops out. I'm almost afraid to pop out the hand after the last experience. Oh, it's this one, I guess. But... Oh, shoot. Uh, I'm afraid to break these things now. They look so sensitive. Ugh. Get in there. Oh, it looks like he might have some dog tags or something. I mean, if you guys played the game, you guys would definitely know what that's about. I don't know what it's about, so... Um, maybe you guys can put in the comments what, what it's about. But, um... 
This guy's pretty cool. Uh, I think I like him with a cloak better. <laughs> but to do a side-by-side -side comparison, looking at the regular one to this one here, body mold, exactly the same. Same helmet. Uh, the cracks on the glass would be the only difference on it. And the paint scheme, they almost came away with the same paint scheme. Um, I still like the original one without the cloak. This one looks a little more, bit more washed out. I don't know if you guys can see more of the black washed out on it. But um, overall, not, not, not a bad figure. But I still think this one takes my top uh, rankings on it. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, these are really, really good figures. Again, at $3 a piece. If you guys can still find them out there, I mean, pick one up. I mean, it's would make good for a great display piece out here. And uh, let me get this guy dressed up again. Um, let me see if I remember how. Oh, no, he goes. It's kind of like a dress. Oh, but I have to take this off, I think. Otherwise, it won't fit. Get in there. Jeez, I forgot. I don't even know how this thing goes. I guess it goes through the top. Oh, uh, maybe, yeah. I think that's the way it's supposed to go. And then he has his arms there. I guess I should have changed out his um, his hand again, but... <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to have to play around with this to get him back. Because now I really turned him into a turtle. Does he come out? Go out! Damn it. I knew this was going to happen. Oh, maybe... Maybe he don't need to go down so far. I don't know. I'll figure it out uh, as I put him back in. But there you have it, guys. Um, thanks for watching again. Super Silly Toys here. So there you have it, guys. Good little uh, action figures here. Now, I'm so glad I didn't pay 20 bucks for them because I... Yeah, the, these definitely were not worth 20 bucks. $15, 30, I think the $3 price point that I got them at, I think that's where they need to be. Um, I can't even pose some of these. I could, it was so hard just to try to stand them up. Uh, some of these won't even stand up by themselves, so they're leaning on each other here. Um, again, you know, for three bucks, I would tell you, yes, go out and get some uh, just because they're awesome for $3. Now, if you're not a Halo fan or anything like that, I mean, they're just fun collectibles. Like I said, I've never played it, but hey, look at these collection, this little mini collection I got here. Uh, pretty awesome little uh, figures. Now I'm just gonna try to figure out a way to display them and uh, put them out. But uh, this was just a quick video to show you uh, one of the hauls that I've been working on. Uh, I've been going to uh, Walgreens, uh, different Walgreens and finding, you know, a few here at a time. Um, I think all the other ones uh, are gonna be gone, but for the most part, you know, I like this little uh, six uh, figure lineup here. I think I'll be happy with that if I don't find any more uh, later on. But again, thank you guys uh, for sticking by. Thanks for watching. Again, it's Super Silly Toys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any comments or questions uh, or maybe ideas on how to fix this guy's leg over here and his foot, uh, other than super glue, but that think that's where I'm gonna have to do but um, let me know in the comments and see uh, if you guys have any recommendations and uh, let me know what you think about these figures um, personally like I said not a big fan of the posability and how they stand up but overall they look badass I mean they they look pretty sweet uh, just can't wait to pose them up and um, get them still and uh, again thank you guys for watching keep on hunting baby